is a good day. We are making minestrone soup. It's a good, hearty soup, a good family recipe. Mm -hmm. Great soup. Tell us why, Gail. Mm -hmm. Minestrone, we were saying before we started here today that her recipe is a little different from mine, mm -hmm. different from our other sisters. And the reason is because minestrone, the word, just means soup. It's just soup. So it's a soup that changes from family to family and with the seasons. So in the summertime, you're going to have summery vegetables in it. You can have zucchini and fresh tomatoes what you have and extras. basil. Mm -hmm. In the winter, you can add more wintry vegetables. You can add kale and cabbage and pumpkin or squash. So you can change it. It usually, for me, I think of minestrone as having a fennel sausagey mm -hmm. flavor. Definitely. Yeah. Beans, vegetables, mm -hmm. and sometimes some pasta. So we're going to give you a template today, a basic recipe to start your minestrone journey on. We're gonna start with the meat in the pot. This okay. is one pound of ground pork. Italian sausage, sweet or hot, is great if you have it. It's really but I'm good. Mm -hmm. gonna show you how to sort of fake that same flavor if you don't okay. have Italian sausage in the house. You could do this with ground turkey, ground chicken, or ground beef too. All right. And then to that meat, as it's browning, we're gonna add um, some fennel seeds. Quite a lot of them, because I like that flavor. Um, some chili flakes, some black pepper, and some dried thyme. And I'm going to start cutting up the vegetables. So these vegetables and the meat form the flavor base for our soup. We've got some brown and pork over here. We're going to let that meat brown a little bit before we add the onion. Okay, let it go a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to peel these carrots yep. for me? Mm -hmm. If you're not familiar with the fennel seed, and a lot of people have never heard of it before, fennel is that seed you see in, you might even feel that texture in a, in a sausage. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's really good, it has a licorice flavor, gorgeous flower when you grow it in your garden, and the bulb of the fennel looks like this, and it's got a huge yeah. frond so on it. We're pretty brown, Gail, you want me to add the onions? Sure. We don't want to get a lot of brown color on that sausage right now. We just want to start cooking it. We don't want it to overcook in the soup, so we don't really want to brown it really hard, as if we were going to eat just the sausage by itself. Okay, so I've got my ground pork, onions, and celery. You want me to add the fennel? Mm -hmm. Okay. I like to make minestrone when I'm trying to clean out my fridge, and I have some vegetables that I know only have another couple days, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Uh, I like to use my vegetables for that. Now you'll notice all these vegetables we're putting in there right now are harder. These are harder vegetables. Mm -hmm. yeah, good point. So they're going to take a little longer to cook. We're going to put some garlic in this soup. A couple of cloves of garlic. I like to add the garlic last. Garlic burns easily. So we want to make sure it cooks but it doesn't um, get too hot and start to burn up a little bit. So now we're going to add a candy. can of chickpeas mm -hmm. with the liquid. Could you, add, you could add any canned beans, I guess. Mm -hmm. I like chickpeas. Me too. It's one of my favorite beans. We're going to crush some whole Italian plum tomatoes from the can. Add those. Get a little bit of... We're going to add some water now. And again, just like another soup, you want to... You want it to go over the line a little bit of the ingredients or not? Always add more later if okay. we need to. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to add the potatoes. And what do you have there? It's, um, about, about six small Yukon Gold potatoes. Okay. So okay. now what we're going to do is we are going to let this come up to a boil and then we'll turn it back down to a simmer to cook the potatoes. And then we'll come back to it after right. potatoes have cooked and add the rest of the vegetables and okay. finish it up. The potatoes are almost cooked. They've been cooking for about 10 minutes in the soup, so they're a little more than halfway done. I'm gonna start cutting the last round of vegetables. Mm. Zucchini. Zucchini is a soft vegetable. It doesn't need to cook very long. Put it in toward the end. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this is a Napa cabbage. Yeah. Love. This is one of my favorite cabbages. Mm -hmm. Cut this long. Okay. Look how long pretty with. that is. Mm -hmm. You took out that middle part Cut out a little, little bit? Yeah. Okay. There's not much of a right. hard core on a Napa cabbage. Mm -hmm. Potatoes are just about done, mm -hmm. right? So we're putting put all that cabbage in there. This is a nice, sweet cabbage. It's not 
super cabbage -y. Yeah. And we're not going to cook it very long, so it's not going to get that funky cabbage thing that mm -hmm. people don't like. Oh, it looks good. So yeah. I think another so pretty. another five minutes or so, our minestrone yeah. soup is ready to eat. It's a big one. All right, let's do it. We also have some cooked pasta here. You don't have to put pasta in your minestrone, but totally optional. It's, yes, totally optional. And there's potatoes in here, but you know we're Italian. We eat pasta with everything, so we're doing it. That's right. So, but it is cooked. If you put the you can cook the pasta in the pot, right, with the soup, Gail, but tell them what happens. Sometimes we know what goes on with that. Well, the pasta will continue to absorb water as it sits in the soup. So as time goes by, if you cook the pasta in there, mm -hmm. it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger, and then it's just gonna fall apart. It looks, it, it stays a little prettier if you yeah. can keep and it And it, like it stays solid, mm -hmm. so it stays if, you, if your keep, family's gonna eat shape. this, all this tonight, you can throw it right in here. If not, just cook it ahead of time. That's a big pot. Yeah, here, let me hold this. Okay. Okay. And of course, Parmesan cheese on top. Or whatever kind of nice grated cheese you like. There's a lot, of, a lot of vegetables in mm -hmm. this. Okay, looks good. So I'm gonna take it, yeah. I'll, you, you got that? I'll take this. Oh, it looks good. Let's get some cheese on there. Okay. You're so happy with the minestrone. <laughs> I'm just excited. Olive oil's never a bad idea. No, uh-uh. And neither is some parsley. Parsley? Yeah. Well, some parsley's never a bad idea. Get going, Gail. Yeah, let's do that too. And it's hot. You know, you always have to let, I mean, you can see it steaming. You gotta let it sit for a little bit or burn your mouth, but sometimes it's worth it. I don't know. I think we should all be eating more parsley. It gives it freshness mm -hmm. and color. Yeah. yeah. Extra vitamin. There you go. All right. Okay. Grab a spoon. There's a lot of things in this. I soup. know. I know. I know. You might have to take a couple bites to get mm. everything. It is so frozen peas. Delicious. Good. So good. Lots of vegetables. Yeah. Your family. It's a meal. Yeah. It's a meal. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Good.